Hey guys, everything new under the sun. All right, I want to do a violin video. I just started learning violin. Um, I think it was, I'll have to look at the videos, but it was a couple of weeks ago where I just picked it up and started it. And the reason was I've always wanted to learn violin. Now we've been going to Fiddle Fest here on the island every year for probably six years. And I've always loved the music. And I happen to have a violin from my mother who died uh, several years ago from, from cancer. And this was a violin she had for a good long time and played. And uh, the problem is I'm left-handed. Um, so I hummed and hawed. This was a right-handed and really they, they hardly make left-handed violins. So I hummed and hawed about should I get lessons? Should I learn how to play myself? Apparently Ashley McIsaac plays a right-handed violin backwards effectively. And uh, I decided that's what I would try since I wouldn't know any different. I had not taken any formal lessons. So I wouldn't know the difference. It wouldn't be a, a brain strain for me because I didn't learn one way. So I figured I'd try it. So you can see these strings are wired just as a plain old right-handed violin meant to be played over here, obviously, with the with my arms reversed. But um, of course, I'm going to play uh, it uh, and, and put the bow in my left hand and the violin in my right hand. And then I play this way and, and basically the, the uh, strings are reversed. So literally, I just picked it up. I, I got a... Uh, uh, Fiddling for Ignoramus is an ebook off Amazon, and it just showed me some basic fingering. Now, I'm not any good, um, but I just wanted to, I thought I'd do a video, and this is the intro for it, uh, about how I learned how to play. I just thought it would be interesting for the YouTube channel. So this is my mother's violin. I always, I, I always want to learn violin, and I thought perfect opportunity to play on my mother's um, old violin. So... Obviously, I'm, I'm no uh, great fiddler or violinist by any stretch. I'm sure I have absolutely bad form. Um, but I started, I play by ear a lot. Um, so this instrument is actually relatively easy, although I'm terrible at it. Um, it's, it's quite easy to pick up, so really anybody can learn it. And I just decide to learn it completely backwards. So again, my brain doesn't know anything different. I'm just, I'm playing the strings, I'm playing the notes. I just happen to be doing it in, <clears throat> would it be mirror opposite? Yeah, I guess it would be... No, no, it wouldn't be mirror, uh, mirror image. It's just completely backwards. Um, but I am left-handed, and I figured I'd stay that way. I also play guitar <clears throat> left-handed, but that's a bit more common to see a left-handed guitar player. So um, in terms of uh, what you're going to see next, you're going to see a bunch of <clears throat> short videos of me playing various hymns. I was literally going through my old trombone uh, hymn book. I played trombone when I was in grade six and uh, six, seven, and eight. I played it, and I was in the grade seven, eight band. And um, so this is the trombone book that I played in church. It has all the hymns, uh, basically numbered for trombone. Um, not that you can see it by my mother; you'll just have to believe me. So what I did, I just started going through it um, and basically playing all the hymns that I knew and trying to trying to learn them. So the next uh, number of videos. Are, are just a bunch of the songs that I learned how to play that I played they each of them I played literally probably <clears throat> twice I recorded on the second second run of it um, basically just as a challenge to myself to see if I could do it I posted them all to Facebook um, to get comments good bad or otherwise um, I didn't care it was just a, it was just a, a method for me to uh, to convince me to, to uh, go and record them get the music out there and just it's my way of learning I guess so here it is. I'm, I'm playing a, uh, a right-handed violin, left-handed. The other thing I could not find, <coughs> excuse me, is any videos really of many, many or any left-handed violinists uh, playing actually left-handed and backwards, backwards. And again, did I mention Ashley McIsaac played that way? I think I did. Um, but anyways, he's one person that I know of that does play kind of that absolutely backwards uh, way. So, the next, yeah, like I say, the next number of uh, clips are a bunch of the hymns that I just played. About the second time I ever played them, I just uh, recorded them. The second time I got through them, and, um, you know, uh, the sky is the limit in terms of my skill and ability. Um, but I hope it will, I hope these videos at least will convince me to keep going. And for the next person who's left-handed and wants information on playing left-handed, let me know. I'd be, I'd be happy to show you 
or at least tell you my experience with it. And since I didn't see anybody else out there doing uh, the same thing, I figured I'd do a video about it. So I would say enjoy. I don't know if you're going to enjoy it. They're certainly scratchy, but I hope you can at least hear <clears throat> the names of the hymns. I don't know if I'll have the names of the hymns on the video or not. Um, I'll, I'll try and remember to do that. But anyways, uh, long intro. Thanks for watching, and uh, so listen to the next bunch of videos. These are all ones that I just played literally a second time going through my hymn book, and I'm sure I'll have more later. I should add that um, I did have to get this violin fixed. I paid about $140 um, to get the bridge stood up again, and uh, also the pin on the back of it was, was broken. And um, this bow up here is actually the the bow that my mother had, um, my wife took that, she uses that, that's her violin there. Uh, but this, this violin itself was all fixed up. This is actually still the right-handed chin rest, so it's, it's not uh, formed to my chin by any stretch correctly. But it works just the same. I, I'm just doing the fiddler bit, and if you're a fiddler, um, there's, not, there's a lot less form anyways, I think, with fiddling than uh, violining. Uh, violining, is that a word? Anyways, uh, playing the violin, uh, maybe a it's a bit more free form for uh, fiddlers. So anyways... That's it. One little thing I wanted to put in here, uh, if you can follow along, if you can make it through all 13 minutes of this video, I think you'll see a progression in terms of uh, the sound of the music, uh, my skill level, although you know it hasn't enhanced greatly, but I think you'll be able to see easily a progression from really just learning uh, and very scratchy to actually getting to where there's songs you can actually listen to and understand the melody of and uh, hear the song. Uh, and so I did uh, go ahead and put the titles of the songs in, so listen to them. And uh, as always, if you're trying to learn this way, I've not found any other resources, feel free to hit me up on YouTube and I'd be uh, happy to answer questions about uh, how I've progressed so far and how I did it and how it's worked out for me. Thank you.